Ooh. Equal fractions are two fractions that represent the same value, even if they look different. Let's take a look at this tricky muffin problem and how equal fractions make it easier. So, Miss Trisha baked some chocolate and banana muffins. Now, we are told that 3 fifths of chocolate muffins and 3 seven of the banana muffins were given away. Now, we are also told that what we had left for your chocolate muffins is the same as the banana muffins that were left. Now, this sentence here is a key sentence that helps us to identify this is an equal fractions question. Now, finally, we are also told that 352 muffins were left. So, let's start off with asking ourselves, what was given away? We know that 3 fifths of chocolate muffins were given away. So, what fraction of chocolate muffins were left? She was left with 2 out of 5 of the chocolate muffins. At the same time, 3 7 of the banana muffins were given away. So, what fraction of banana muffins will be left? We will be left with 4 7 of the banana muffins. Now, because of the statement highlighted in yellow, we are able to set up an equal fractions equation here, where 2 fifths of the chocolate muffins is equal to 4 7 of banana muffins. Now, with equal fractions, what we need to do here is to make the numerators the same. So, we have a numerator of 2 and a numerator of 4. To make them the same, you multiply the first set of fraction by 2. So, now what we have over here is 4 over 10 of chocolates is equal to 4 over 7 of bananas. Now, if you relate this to the model that we have above, you can see clearly that 3 units of chocolates and 3 units of banana muffins were sold. So, what we have left would be over here. You have 1 and 2 units of chocolate muffins, as well as 1, 2, 3, 4 units of banana muffins left. The key idea when you draw the model here is that 2 units of your chocolates have to be equal to 4 units of bananas. So once we have this, what we need to do is to assign units. The denominator of 10 units would tell us that there were 10 units of chocolates. The denominator of 7 tells us that we had 7 units of bananas. From the numerators, you can tell that 4 units of chocolates were left, which also means that 6 units of chocolates were given away. At the same time, for the banana muffins, 4 units were left, which also means that 3 units were given away. Based on what we have done so far, how many units do you think 352 muffins represent? From there, will you be able to find out how many banana muffins were baked? Let us know in the comments down below.